Let me give you another way of um, illustrating what the regime did to get to this unemployment number. And it is very similar to how baseline budgeting works. Another way of looking at this is this. He had 120,000 jobs that were created. You have 315,000 people who dropped out. What you do is add those together. And you get a number 435,000. And that 435,000, the government today says, are no longer unemployed. And so 435,000 jobs created, 430, no, 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 let's not go that far. Let's say 435,000 people no longer unemployed results in an unemployment rate dropping from 9.0 to 8.6. See how that works? This is what they do. This is what they did. This is how it happens. 120,000 people find work. 315,000 quit looking. Those 315,000 are no longer called unemployed. That's the U3 clarification qualification. U3 is made up of people looking for work and people who have lost their jobs, so forth. The 315,000 stop looking. They are added to those who are unemployed. And you get a grand total of 435,000. That's how it happens. It's it's, it's almost a dead ringer for the fraud and the misleading way that uh, budgeting is done. Baseline budgeting. Such as there are never any cuts. Even with the super committee, there aren't going to be any cuts in spending. There are just going to be reductions in what was projected to be spent. Still going to spend more, just not as much as was projected. In the uh, current services baseline is what it's actually called. Current services, meaning what is at present being spent, is the baseline. Not zero, but what's presently being spent, or at present. And then if you add 10% to what is being spent as a projection, it's what we're going to spend next year, and you only spend 7% of it? Oh, no, that's a 3% cut in that difference. We had a draconian cut of 3%. We were going to spend 10%, and you're only going to spend 7 It's a 3% cut. That's how baseline budgeting works. It's the same thing here with the uh, unemployment number.